Hello everybody and welcome to Scalable Scripts. In this video you will learn how to create authentication using React. The backend for this video is done on Laravel and you can find the video on our channel. In this tutorial you will be able to create components and routes, to consume API calls, use states and handle errors. This is the second part of our React authorization tutorial which includes login and logout functionalities. Let's start with it. We now have to log in with our user. To do so, we first have to create the form. Go to register component and copy this form for shortcut. And paste it here. We do not need first name and last name. We change the text here to login. Remove the confirm password. So we just need the email and password. The text here should be login. We also need a function that happens and also the submit. It needs to prevent the default so it doesn't refresh the page. So everything should be good right now. Let's check the page. So yeah, everything looks fine. Now let's try sending the data to the API. Create a data variable which is equal to email, this email, and password, this password. We need Axios now, axios.post and add the URL for the backend. Localhost 8000 slash login and data. Then the result we need to console log it. And we need to catch the errors. Of course, we need to import Axios at the end. That's it, let's try it now. Let's inspect it and try to send the data that we sent when we got registered. So we successfully got logged in. We can see that we have the access token now. When we go to home page, the message is still you are not logged in. We have to change this message now to you are logged in and also to reveal our name. The first thing we need to do is to store the token to our local storage. Let's do it now. Local storage set item token equals to res the token. And let's go to home component and we need to use that token now in order to get the current user. First let's add the component did mount method so it runs before the render method runs. And we need to call axios.get And here we may copy the link again, localhost 8000 slash login. But there is a better way to do it since we know that all the APIs start with localhost 8000. Let's go first to index.js and here run this axios.defaults. Let's 
Let's import it so we can have the intelligence dot default dot base URL equals to cut it from login and paste it here localhost 8000. Go to register component and remove this link here. Go to home component 2 and comment this for the moment. So everything works fine. Now here we just need to add user because the suffix is added automatically. Then console log result and error. Don't forget to import Axios here. So we're still not logged in. Let's see what the error is telling. So unauthenticated. The reason is that we need to provide the headers for this method in order to be authenticated. So to add the headers, we need to create a const variable called config equals to headers. And the one header that we need is authorization bearer. And we will concatenate local storage dot get item token. And we will use this config here. Still not logged in, so let's see the headers. So the token is undefined. I think the problem relays when we log in. So the token should be like this. Let's log in again. And go to home page. So we are getting the current user. Let's change the message. Go to home component and now we need to change the message. To do that we need to use state. And here we need to specify this set state user res.data. So we will get our data, meaning the current user, and send it to user state. Here we will add an if condition. If this user state is set, then return h2, hi, this user dot first name and this user dot last name. So we got an error and the error is that we have to put state here. Now we got the user and displayed the name here. So the login works correctly. There is one thing left to do, probably we will have more than one API to call and the one with config is not a good practice to use. Let's change it now. Remove config here and cut this code here and go to index.js and do the same thing for headers as base URL. Type axios, 
default headers, common and the authorization header is equal to bearer and local storage get item token. This will create a common header for all API calls. Open the page and it works the same. Now that we are logged in, we need to display a logout button here in the header and not the login button again. To do that, we need to change the code in our navigation component. The problem we have currently is that we need the same code as this one here to get the current user. We can add the same code again there, but it's not a good practice and we will have to call the same thing twice in the same component. Both of the components have the same parent, which is app.js. We can have here the code that we get the current user and pass the user variable to the child component. Let's see how to do it. First, let's change the function here to export the default class app extends component. We need to import component here, and this is the render function. Now go to home component and cut this code. And paste it here. Better do it like this. We also need the state here. Paste it here and that's it. Now we have to pass user data in the home component. To do that, we have to do it like this. Home and user is equal to this.state.user. Go to home component now. Now is not called a state, but the parameters passed from the parent component are props. Let's add the props again here and let's see our page. We also have to remove this code here. Also import Axios. Open the browser now. We get an error and the reason is that we assigned the components wrongly. Here is the problem and it has to be like this. It has to be a function that it returns the component. And now it's working correctly. So we can see that we are passing user parameter inside the home component and we are displaying the user data. We can remove this line now. Now let's add the logout button in the nav component. We will still pass the parameter here, user equal to this state user, and depending on the user, we will change the HTML. This is the part we want to change. Let's cut this part and let's make an if condition. If this props user, so if the user is set, we will display the logout button, otherwise we will display this HTML. So I will create a variable here, let buttons and buttons will be equal to this HTML here. And we'll display buttons here. In case this user is logged in, we need to change the HTML to be like this.
This link now will redirect to the main page and we need to add the on-click functionality. I will keep it short and simple just to clear the local storage. And this should have a logout name. We can see the logout button and if we click it now, it won't show anything. But if we refresh the page, it says that we are not logged in right now. In the next tutorial, we will see how to make a smooth experience using login and logout buttons.